What's up guys, it's Vex here of the Nerd Militia. Um, today we got some DC news coming your way. But, but before we begin guys, go ahead and hit that subscription button, hit that notification bell, and buckle up. So, we're going for a ride here guys. There's a couple things that are going on in the DC universe right now. First off, we just got the little tease, a little poster of uh, the Zachary Levi led Shazam movie. Um, I personally think uh, DC is going in the right direction. Um, going after the little kid market is very smart. Um, um, man, I, I convinced my parents to buy me countless Power Rangers toys and video games. Uh, I have I had so many WWE or at that time F wrestlers. Like it's it's it was a ridiculous amount of money for one's parents to spend. That being said, it's smart of DC to go this route, to go this uh, Goonies, this big, uh, you know, um, The Mask, you know, more of a kid-friendly DC because, like I just said, kids can talk their parents into buying them anything, um, and especially going to go see this movie. And to see, not to mention, you're going to get a, a cameo of Superman, but to see Superman through the eyes of a little kid it's going to do so much for that character moving forward with the DCU or the DCEU because as of late, um, you know, we've gotten this more adult um, DC, DCEU, um, you know, uh, it's I could go on forever with DC negative negativity, but I'll, I'll cut myself off right there. Um, but to see him in this new light, this colorful light, this Joel, this Joel uh, Whedon light is... Uh, going to be super awesome so yeah i i do think uh this route in this uh character is going to be really really cool especially if they stick this way i mean i really hope that we don't go see the movie and they try to make it in the same vein as justice league or uh wonder woman bvs or man of steel and they keep it in this like kid friendly family friendly arena because that's where the money is and i think that that is the kind of the mistake DC took earlier on. You know, they were just so enthralled with this, uh, um, with Nolan's world, not understanding that Nolan's world wasn't really a Batman movie. It was a detective movie where the main character happened to be Batman, you know? And so they just went, oh, darker tone. Let's just darker tone everything. Whereas in the Marvel house, the house or the mouse house, um, you know, they, they realized that, you know, families were the core audience. So this is a this is a good step, man. It, it looks cool. Zachary Levi looks like a huge dork uh, and uh, well, a huge muscly dork. And I think it's I think it's going to be good. I mean, I hope uh, everything works out here. And then for, you know, my more uh, hardcore, darker tone DC fans, don't fret because Aquaman is right around the corner. So we're going to get that moving forward. Um, so I guess. Uh, I hate this. I, I'm, you know, I'm. I, if you guys want to Google this, <laughs> look up all the sources you can. But apparently, um, uh, Zack Snyder has confirmed that Injustice would have been an influence in his world. Well, you guys know how I feel about this already. Uh, Zack Snyder, his vision was horrible, and he, as a comic book fan and a comic book reader. Uh, I don't want to say like he is the worst comic book fan because all fans are great no matter where you are but he is the type of fan that swears by Elseworld comic books basically he based his vision um, on Elseworld comic books and that and that line speaks for itself the fact that he was saying like yeah Injustice was gonna play a big part that basically means he never had any intentions on building these characters off of what their DNA, their souls are made out, made out of. Basically, he never had any intentions to use action comics, uh, to use the Batman, to base these characters off of them themselves, their actual characters. He went after these more Elseworld type comic books, and most of these Elseworld comic books are not canon. They don't bleed into the actual storyline, which tells you uh, more about what type of fan he was. Like he didn't. It, it seems like he didn't even care about the property which which in turns tells you why these movies did so bad he had no respect for these characters um but this this comment that he makes only uh proves that like uh you know like he saw injustice and he was like oh man that's that's awesome let's do it 
but the injustice in game itself is built is built from the soul of action comics it's built from the superman who was doing everything right and still you know joker uh you know push superman too far it was built from the batman who even though he was in this darker time he still tried to stop clark he still understands the loss and, and none of those things came across in in sadly in Zack snyder's world so yeah this 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 further proves my point that this guy is he has no business directing any kind of dcau film or any comic book film at all but guys, again, that's what I think. That's my opinion. Um, I, I, I am really excited to hear what you think about this. These uh, two stories. Um, feel free to comment, guys. Like, share, all that good news and all that good noise. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I said, be sure uh, if you've already subscribed to the Nerd Mil Militia family. Awesome, guys. I'm still giving away the two tickets or the two sets of two tickets, which total us out to be four to my nerd melissa family who are subscribers and who like and comment and share on this video and then also if you are a new subscriber you have a chance to get in on that too and uh guys i'm still giving away the download code code for uh black panther so as usual guys you uh stay excellent and i'll catch you guys later